Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of July 10th to July 16, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Libra, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at your energy, spirit angels and guides. Please show me the energy of Libra in regards to love for this week. What is Libra's energy in regards to love and in regards to whoever they're connecting to and dealing with in love for this week? Libra. Here we go. What's Libra's energy, Spirit? What's Libra's energy in regards to love? For this week, we have the Death card, the Five of Cups, the Temperance card. Hmm. Interesting. So it does look like there was some sort of ending here that you went through with someone we do have the five of cups here so this is a card of suffering pain disappointment sadness it looks like you've been trying to accept with a temperance card temperance can represent accepting something you've been trying to accept an ending that you went through with someone that was very painful but you feel like there's no chance to get back together. There's no chance to fix things. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. You feel like it's done for good and you feel like you need to accept it. And I feel like that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to come to terms with it and release it, let it go. Hmm. Tell me more about um, Libra's energy in regards to love spirit for this week. We have the Three of Cups. The Six of Swords. And we also have the Four of Swords. Hmm. There could have been a third party situation here that affected the relationship. It does look like you're moving away from um, unstable, unstable emotional energy towards more grounded energy, more calmer energy. With the Four of Swords, um, hmm. it does look like you're going into a space of relaxation, meditation, contemplation. You're moving into a space of, of thinking, of analyzing. I want to look at that, actually. Let me take a look at that Four of Swords. Tell me about this Four of Swords spirit connected to Libra, connected to Libra's energy. Yeah, uh, a, an energy of balance. You're, you're moving towards an energy of more emotional balance, mental balance. Tell me more about the Four of Swords for Libra. Page of Pentacles. 
Okay. Someone might be extending themselves out to you with the Page of Pentacles. We'll take a look at that. Tell me more about Libra's feelings or Libra's energy in regards to love for this week. Tell me more about Libra's energy in regards to love for this week. The Emperor. The Six of Cups. And the Ten of Wands. Queen of Wands at the bottom. It does kind of look like just just as you're starting to get more balanced in your energy, it does look like you are um, receiving a message here. It feels like it's from this emperor. And it's connected to the Six of Cups, which is your past. So it does look like a past person is resurfacing here. Um, and they're messaging you. I'll see what that's about. Because it looks like this person hasn't um, fully let you go yet. With the Ten of Wands, they're, they're having a hard time letting you go. They're struggling to let you go. They're, they've tried. They were trying to, to not return back to you because we do have the Emperor here. So they tried very hard to resist um, messaging you, contacting you. But it looks like they are going to fail at that. With the Page of Pentacles, it looks like they're going to fail. I feel like they are going to break their resistance um, because they miss you with the Six of Cups. This is a soulmate connection, a strong emotional bond that they feel with you. And it does look like um, this energy of them missing you and missing what you two used to have together, it looks like it's going to overpower their, their mind, their reason, their logic. Because their logic is telling them, don't go back, don't, don't resurface again for Libra, don't revisit this relationship with Libra, let it go, leave it alone. It's, it's too much of a burden. There's, there's been too many issues, too many differences, too many problems. So I do feel like their logic has definitely been advising them not to, con to not contact you again. But with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like while you're in this energy of you know, recuperating, um, they are going to resurface here with the Page of Pentacles. Okay. Let's go to your person now. Let's see. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of the person Libra is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Tell me about this emperor person. The person on Libra's mind in regards to love. What is their energy towards Libra this week? Libra's person's energy towards Libra. Four of Pentacles. Okay. To be a Capricorn for some of you. Page of Pentacles. Look who showed up. So that's them, like I told you. <clears throat> like I told you um, on your side. They're, they're popping up here. They're showing up. And like I said, they were holding back. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat. Yeah, four of pentacles to the page of pentacles. They were holding back. They were hold and this is a very stubborn energy, the four of pentacles. It's very, very fixed and stubborn. So they were definitely um avoiding 
um, opening up to you. It looks like it's out of stubbornness, you know? But with the Page of Pentacles, it does look like they're going to get out of that stubbornness. I want to clarify that, actually. Let me get one more. Show me Libra's person's energy towards Libra. Ooh, the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know about that energy. It looks like this person is coming towards you still, still closed off, you know? Because look at the people on these cards. You see how both of them have their arms crossed, crossed over their chest, you know, kind of? So... I feel like they're still going to be emotionally closed off towards you when they reach out. Let's let's investigate that. Let's look into that. Um, Spirit, tell me about this Four of Pentacles, please. Clarify this Four of Pentacles. Um, could be a Pisces for some of you. Also... Um, Virgo or Taurus. Also Aries here. Clarify the Four of Pentacles in this person's energy towards Libra this week. The world. This person doesn't like the way things ended between you two. It kind of pisses them off. Yeah, I think it, it kind of pisses them pisses them off. It bothers them. It, it aggravates them a little bit. They're kind of bitter about it. The way the way you two um, went your separate ways with the world card. They don't agree. It's like they don't agree the way the way things ended. Or they're carrying some sort of grudge. Um, related to how things ended between you two. Tell me about the uh, Page of Pentacles and this person's energy towards Libra. Why the Page of Pentacles? Oh, well, what do we what do we have here? We have the King of Cups. Clarifying, okay, the Page of Pentacles. I said that already. I said that with the Six of Cups. This person misses you. And the truth is that no matter how pissed off they might be or frustrated or upset they are with you, um, they still love you with the King of Cups. They still care about you. They still have strong feelings for you. And that's, that's, what's, that's what's pushing them and, you know, motivating them to reach out to you because they do still feel that strong emotional connection and attachments but they're being very closed off here okay do i want to look at that nine of cups i kind of do yeah Tell me about the Nine of Cups, Spirit. The Nine of Cups is all about you know, like your wishes. So let's see what their wishes. Tell me about the Nine of Cups and this person's energy towards Libra for this week. Oh, okay. We have the sun here. Okay, so this person wants you back. They can't help themselves. That's what it is. They were trying to be very stubborn, you know, and let go of this relationship um, and never look back. Hmm. But with the Sun card, yeah, this person wants to experience victory with you. They want to experience success with you. They want, 
They see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as their happiness. They feel lost without you. They don't know where to go or what to do without you. Hmm. Well, that's kind of sweet, I guess. It's like they're hopelessly um, stuck on you. It's like they're hopelessly stuck on you. The emperor can, could have anybody, anybody they want. You know, the emperor is not someone who lacks options. But they look at you like you're their match, like you're their equal. And that's something very rare for this person. They hardly, they hardly ever um, meet anyone that they can consider their match or their equal. It's very, very rare for them to, to come across someone that, that they can call that. But I feel like you're that person with the sun card. You're that person that they feel like challenges them, basically. And that's, that's also something very hard for them, that you know nobody challenges them, but you do. Because if they're looking at you like the sun card, like that, that must mean that you're very independent. Like you have a strong character. You're very um, confident, independent, self-sufficient. Um, you're very loyal. You're, you're very committed to yourself, committed to your values, committed to your principles. And I feel like this person admires you, you know? Deep down inside, they admire you and they look up to you. Okay, interesting. Let's see what else in there is in their energy towards you. Let's see. Spirit angels and, Spirit angels and guys, tell me more about this person's energy towards Libra for the week. Tell me more um, in regards to this person's energy towards Libra for the week. Three of Pentacles. So they do want to work things out with you with the Three of Pentacles. Okay, tell me more. Eight of Wands. Here's that communication coming through. Connected to the Page of Pentacles. They're going to communicate to see if they can get on get on the same page with you. They're going to attempt to get on the same page with you. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Libra for this week. And the Eight of Cups. This is you walking away, which we already saw on your side. Yeah. We already saw that on your side. You're walking away and you're trying to accept this. Um, this ending as, as painful as it is. But you are, um, you are working on your healing. And I feel like this person knows it and they, they can feel it. Like they can feel that you're slipping away from them. Yeah. And I feel like they're getting nervous. They're getting nervous because they don't see any signs of you. Maybe you're not posting on social media for some of you, you know? They're not seeing any indications of your energy, of your presence. It's making them nervous. They feel like they're they feel like they're slowly but surely losing you for good, and it is causing a reaction here. So this person is reacting to your absence this week. I want to see more about this Four of Pentacles spirit. Spirit, tell me more about this Four of Pentacles energy connected to this person. Why the Four of Pentacles? Tell me more about why the Four of Pentacles. Mm. 
and the world card. Why are the four of pentacles and the world card? And their energy towards Libra. Oh, okay. Five of pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, this person is not happy about the way things ended. Um, I feel like they're kind of uh, angry at you. Uh, yeah. Why are they angry at you? I don't know what you did, actually. Hmm. Let me see if I can figure that out. What actions did Libra take towards this person in the past? What actions did Libra take towards this person in the past? Ooh, look at that. Four of Pentacles on your side as well. Oh, so you, you closed off to them. Why did you close off? Why the Four of Pentacles? Why the, why the Four of Pentacles on Libra's side towards this person? Eight of Swords. You weren't happy with what this person was giving you or offering you. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Cups. This is, this is kind of you saying, I deserve better. I deserve more. So you, f you feel like this person... Um, wasn't respecting your worth. You feel like they weren't respecting your worth. Okay. And you kind of you kind of cut this person off or like you cut this person out of your life. You made that decision for yourself. It was painful, but you did it for yourself and you did it to protect your integrity or your dignity or your self-worth you might have felt like this person was giving you breadcrumbs how did libra view this person's spirit what was libra's view or perception of this person or what is libra's view or perception of this person the lovers so you felt like this person wasn't choosing you. They had divided loyalties, divided attention. I see, okay. All right, well, here they are again. I just don't feel like this person is really um, acknowledging, you know, or taking responsibility for anything I'm not getting that coming from them I feel like they're coming towards you to try to work things out with you but they are kind of avoiding the elephant in the room if that makes sense yeah I feel like they're avoiding the elephant in the room they're trying to kind of um or like they're hoping that that won't be discussed you know whatever happened between you two that caused the separation. They're, they're hoping that it won't be discussed, that it won't be talked about. Um, they're kind of just, um, you know, closing the curtain on, on the past or on whatever happened between you two. And they're trying to kind of um, seduce you into starting over with them. If that makes sense. Okay. So Libra, that's what I see here in regards to the energies between you and your person for the week. I'm going to continue now in the extended reading and I am going to take a deeper look at this person here. Um, I'm going to see, I'm going to take a deeper look at what are their true and real feelings for you? What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? And what actions will they end up taking towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.